What's good? Razor Raven Fast 7 8 here, and welcome to Scarlet Nexus Part 2. Yeah, I know I didn't do a commentary on the first one because I didn't know, honestly know that this gonna be game is gonna be good or not. You know, if they're worthy of doing an entire playthrough. But after playing the first part, I think it's I. I mean, you know, so far like there's been like a million characters to try to remember, which I am definitely not going to because I'm terrible with names. But other than that, though, you know what? Fuck it, let's do it. And here we are. And yeah, that's pretty much the intro. I mean, I really have nothing else to say. I mean, I'm not gonna just try to make words up as I go along, so. I don't have anything to say, I don't have anything to say. Oh, it looks like another group of cadets has arrived. That must be Cadet Yuito Sumeragi and Cadet Nagi Carmen. So, it appears you were able to fight an other before your official assignment. How was your first fight? Huh? Were you afraid? Uh, no. I just used my training. I see. So you were able to fight calmly. Although still a cadet, you are a true Scarlet Guardian. Amazing. Really? Cadet Yuito Sumeragi. What will you tell your father, Chairman Sumeragi, about your actions today? I've been ordered not to answer any questions. Excuse me. Nagi, let's go! You got a big head for a cadet. Yeah, I huh? get that a lot too. What did you say? All right, everyone, don't fight. I'm Kyoka Eden of the First Regiment, Eighth Company. You're Cadet Yuito Sumeragi and Cadet Nagi Carmen, right? Chief Kaito Sumeragi has asked to see I mean, both maybe of I'm you. a little drunk. Hurry to the I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm talking to a cutscene, but lecture. like something just you did a good thing, my but eye. it's important to follow the rules know, as a member of the OSF. <laughs> about this good joke? luck. Ah, shit. Here we go. Yeah. Oh man, I heard this game is getting an anime next month too. Oh shit, I'm gonna be all of that. Honestly though, I think it would be solid. The enemies are the weirdest thing about this game though. I mean, fucking batches of flowers with legs and wheels. Otherwise, though, I don't really, I still don't really know what the story's all about. I mean, obviously, I don't know the other enemies, flowers, killing people, and stuff like that. But like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the main purpose is. This, so. And not a Japanese game. That it's probably gonna be like a million-hour game. Probably gonna be, uh, you know, full of freaking what I call Japanese flashbangs. And what Japanese flashbangs are basically uh, when the screen just flashes white, you know, out of nowhere for a, a lot. So. Perhaps a lot of Final Fantasy 14. I have earned Final Fantasy games in general. But, uh, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. I'm actually hyped for this game, though. So, and the music. Mm. I love trance music, and, yeah. Trance, dubstep, whatever you want to call it, so. Alright, see. Just in the past to the future. You wait to experience it. Okay. I guess that wasn't important. Welcome to Seto Platoon. I am Seto Narukami. Starting today, I'm your commander. First, let's have everyone introduce themselves. Tell us what your powers are. It's best to be familiar with the type of powers in your platoon. For example, my power is electrokinesis. All right, you first, Anabi. Understood. I 
I'm Hanabi Ichijo. My power is pyrokinesis. Happy to be here. Nagi Carmen. My power is air manipulation. It was my dream to be in the OSF. <laughs> I serve under Septentrion 7th Class Captain Narukami. I'm Yuito Sumeragi. My power is psychokinesis. I was saved by an OSF trooper as a child. I'll do my best to repay that debt. Basically a Jedi. Oh, so you're the famous Yuito. You were all over the news last night. They said the Sumeragi boy drove off the others. How did it feel to be in the fray? Enough messing around, Kagero. Introduce yourself. Yes, Captain. Okay, all you babies of the 567th class. I am Kagero Don, the late blooming genius. This is pretty cool, though. Only you call yourself that. You're so harsh, Captain. So, Yuito and Nagi, you're volunteer soldiers? I'm an adult, so we're in the same boat. Nice to meet everyone. What? I'm sure we'll get along. What Sorry, does he mean by you, adult? Yeah, okay, yeah. Adults Please tell are me. OSF troops who weren't scouted until later in life. You didn't know? They're like no. us that volunteered for the OSF instead of being scouted. Basically fodder. That's right. I'm just trash here, but I do my best. Let's work together to stay alive. Don't worry about how you got here. Only the strong and highly thought of survive in this world. Worrying about what others think is pointless. Okay? Next is Wataru. I'm Wataru Fraser. My power is really hey, represent purple telepathy. Ah, oh, the purple. Oh, purple. Tsukumi Nazar. My power is clairvoyance. Nice to meet you. So, it's a platoon full of weirdos. We should fit right in with the rest of the OSF. Welcome to anime kids. That's Everyone exactly do your is. best. Moving on. We'll start with guard duty as your hands-on training. We'll go in two-man teams. Nagi's with me. Kagura with Sugumi and Hanabi with Yuito. Yeah. Get your SAS with each other. Get ready and reconvene at the entrance to Kikuchiba in one hour. That is all. Dismissed. So what I heard from this game is that long time no see, Yuito. Alright, you know, I'll explain. Hanabi! What's it been? Two years? Who would have thought we'd get put in the same platoon? You know Miss Ichijo? Call me Hanabi. Yuito and I are childhood friends. Wow, but we didn't see you at all as cadets. Oh, I was scouted. I see. The training areas for scouted and volunteer soldiers are different, so no wonder. I guess you're an elite, Hanabi. No, I'm not. Hey, do you know Naomi Randall? The Randall sisters? I know them. Those two are the real elites. Kasane was scouted by the OSF when she was 12. She was scouted that young? Huh? You know Kasane? Yeah. We fought others together yesterday. What? You mean that other attack? No way. Kasane didn't say anything about it. Are you friends with the Randall sisters? Not really. I talk to Naomi a lot, but Kasane is... I'm pretty sure the only one friendly with Kasane is Naomi. I think you mean oh, distance. Really? Can you introduce me to Naomi? Oh, so that's how it is. Naomi is cute. Hey, you three. Quit your jabbering and get to Kikuchiba. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir! See you later. I can't believe my first assignment is with you. I'm excited. Hi, Suivasen! Senpai! Yeah, Sensei. Yuito, wait up! Yes, what is it? The... Uh, Mr. Wataru? Uh, you can just call me Wataru. There's a notification for you about Bias. Looks like they messed up. Bias? It's an OSF-developed brain assistance system that amplifies and helps maximize your power. Every year they choose subjects to gather combat data on the system. And this year, you're one of them. I won't sugarcoat it. It's still in development, so it's unstable, and the side effects aren't clear. Uh, so they want me to be a guinea pig. Sorry if I scared you. They've done tests before, so that people who aren't compatible all aren't selected. Guinea pigs. So don't worry too much. Either way, it's an order, so you can't refuse. Just try starting it up. It should have installed with all the other systems. 
Is this right? Nothing seems different except for visuals. The system works in your brain, using your power to display visions. Powers are just the ability to visualize. They get stronger the more you focus on them. This will make connecting to SAS smoother, too. It'll still hurt a lot, though. I think I got the gist of it. Thank you for explaining all of this to me. Even though I told you not to worry, there are some nasty rumors about bias causing people to lose their minds or become emotionally unstable. So if you feel strange at all, don't strain yourself. Okay, thanks. I'll be careful. Well, that's it for me. Oh, and you don't have to be all polite with me. Just take it easy. All right, don't be late for your mission. I'm a little worried about being an experiment. Well, I guess it won't change anything. Okay, I'll head to Kikuchiba when I'm ready. Right, so if we're going into gameplay, as I was saying though, so I heard that actually playing uh, this game, you know, when I started choosing the characters, not actually choosing your gender, which is like how most games does it. Actually in this game, you're actually choosing which story to play. So we're obviously gonna be going as Yuito first, because fuck it, I guess. And then we're gonna be going as uh, Kasane. So, yeah, yeah. All right. I actually didn't see what this thing said. So you can open up the world map with up directional pad, travel to another location. Can't travel during battle, and locations may be limited depending on the story progression. Like usual stuff. I mean, shit. I play Skyrim like for life, man. And the, one of the most annoying thing is. Amazing. You volunteered and got into the. And one of the most annoying thing is to actually, uh oh. <laughs> Sorry. And one of the most annoying thing is to when you're trying to fast travel and it turns out there's an enemy nearby, but like you're not in battle, so it's like, what's up with that, you know? So I deal with that, I deal with this. Uh, I am definitely not gonna be reading all of this. Oh, I can actually reply. Uh. Give me a lot of Persona 5 by vibes. Names I got. You would tell you like Kasane. I saw you checking her out. You all do this to Minagi. Not like oh, Kasane. She reminded me of someone else. Of someone. That girl saved me when I was little. Thank you for censorship. What? Alright, whatever. Alright, well, I don't even think this is all like. important or relevant. So. I'm getting too much into it. The USF, just like you always dreamed. You were scouted, so I have to work hard to catch up to you. The one you want to catch up to isn't me. Oh, it's whoops. her. I mean, I guess it goes might as well save now, but that wasn't my intention at the moment. Wow. All right, let's go. So yeah, I just wanted to see what's in the uh, shop. Oh, you can buy weapons for uh. Party members, okay. How, how do I know? Wait, how do I know how much money I have though? You cannot sell equipped item, please don't equip for selling. Okay, so wait. Oh, wait, I'm in the sales screen. Okay, I see on the left. Uh, let's see, to buy stuff. Oh, I see. So the funds is how much I have, funds I have to purchase is how much I'm gonna have, and then the price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think it's. Do I want to go ahead and buy a sword, better sword? Yes, I do. Alright, I got the Daima! Oh no, I probably just bought the same sword I've already had, which is fucking stupid, because why would I... Why would they offer me the same sword that I already have? Uh... What the hell is it, anyways? Ah, fucking hell. Alright, whatever. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Where's it gonna leave right now? Alright, let's go. Lego, uh, let's see. Nah, it's just, let's see. Can we see the entire world? Nah, I don't think we're gonna let us see the world. Oh well. Let's see. Uh, we need to go here, so Lego. I wonder if she's gonna be side missions in this game, that'd be cool. Kukuchiba! Did you mention to say? 
Alrighty. So yeah, so that's what I was saying like earlier, yeah, he's basically a Jedi. I mean, yeah, did some, some Jedi shit and then his swords, you know, having the Mace Windu lightsaber. All purple, you know. Which, hey, you know, I totally don't mind, you know, purple. I love it, represent every day. So, we're all here. Captain Narukami, may I ask a question? You don't have to be so formal. We call each other by our first names in the OSF so we can strengthen our bonds. Most of us don't look our age. Ranks are there just to calculate pay. The OSF only uh. values strength. Remember that. That's the gist of it. So what was your question? Right. Um... Wataru... isn't here yet. Wataru is this platoon's operator. He'll direct us from headquarters. My power allows me to communicate telepathically without the system's assistance. Up to around 500 kilometers. That being said, it's a lot of work. So join the group. Open your personal port. Team leaders will be Nagi, Yuito, and Sugumi. Each of you, listen to Wataru's orders and move to the designated goal. Try to take down any others along the way. Retreat is allowed if you think you can't handle it, but reach your goal. That's all. Understood. Okay. See you later. Good luck. 500 kilometers, like 300. I think it's like around 300 miles, or something like that. Something like that. So, I don't fucking know. Alright. <clears throat> The teams are split up, but you can use brain talk to share information. Here we go! <laughs> yeah! Oh, oh, okay. Uh, SAS is the brain to brain connection with the virtual cable that allows you to temporarily use Alice powers. The SAS menu is displayed in the lower right the screen. Okay, lower right screen. Uh, and I can press R1 and then press any of the fucking button to do whatever the fuck I want. Alright, cool. Um, it's limited. Here's your zero. And stop. You stop the effect yourself. So I can basically cancel it if I want to. I don't know why I would want to. Um, I guess we'll find out pretty soon. Alright, let's do this. Oh, okay. Alright, more, more tutorial. Uh, Barbarian, pyrokinesis, flames engulf weapons and PK objects. Blah, 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 blah. Increase the damage to the enemies. Blah, 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 blah. Awesome. Alright, let's do this. Don't get burned! Connect with you as they get to hurt themselves here. But it really feels like you're fighting. Honestly, I hope there's like more combos and stuff like that. I feel like a little light on combos. But I mean, you know, it's the beginning of the game. So, some guy comes up to me, right? A lot of them look like. I think there's something over there. Uh, Kushiba environment BH1. I do not know what that means. Mm, whatever. We did it. That is very useful. Man. This is pretty rare. Range attack and nerve is pretty useful. Come on. Hey. Oh man, you know what? I ain't really have any anime though. Don't wander off. Don't go into heavily damaged areas. Here we go. Understood. I'm good at reading the air. I mean, my power is aerokinesis after all. Uh, that awkward pause was my power too. Yeah, I didn't uh, Demon Slayer. This would be like the anime series that I, like I start off with, you know, when it comes out. And then, you know, maybe, hey, hopefully I'll stick with it. So, anime series can go on for fucking ages, man. Like, One Piece? Oh, man. Everyone knows One Piece. Oh, I have no to water the flowers at headquarters. Oh, I already did that. The seeds we planted in those pots have sprouted. Nice recovery. I know, right? Every household should have a dependable cargo. Power up. All right. We did it. Let's keep this up. Come on. Uh, we did it. Uh, you guys are close. We're gonna. Wow. Come on. 
Uh, I think we actually need to go up there anyways. This is totally fine with me. So I said, collect more of these. Yeah. Odd. Whatever I'm getting. Um, Looks like there's a resource nearby. Okay, so yeah, I think we gotta go up here anyways. <clears throat> well, maybe. I mean, there's a guy who's just selling stuff right in the middle of the damn street where he's full of others. So. Wait, did you see my other message? In case you didn't, I won't lend you money. Yes, because I am heir. That makes so much sense, dude. And uh, with that big lie I just told, I am gonna go ahead and see what you're selling, fam. And uh, nothing. Oh, you know what? I just kind of realized though. So that E over over my character thing actually says that I actually have that equipped. So you know what? I may wanna go ahead and sell. wait. Did I not buy it? Oh yeah, I did buy it. Damn, about the same one. Why would the Why the hell would the game allow you to buy the weapon that you already have, like the, your starter weapon? You know, That's really weird. That is really weird. I mean, I guess in case you sell your weapon, but like, why would you? Like, how would you not know that the weapon you have is the weapon you equip, and so you need to buy it? Back. Oh, fuck it. All right, whatever. All right. Uh, I'm totally expecting a fight. Yep, here we go. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, more tutorial. Hold down L2 to consume PK gauge attack with special objects. After hitting the enemy, and put the following commands shown on the screen, so quick time events. So control special object for additional attack. Wait, to control the special object for additional attack. Follow up command changes based on type of special object. Okay. Oh, that takes longer to do. Oh, Yep, and you're dead. Wow. That was I no nice. You can use like that. Your power is really great. I gotta be really careful with that. Let's keep this up. Take the kids actually. Go. Alright, let's just level it up there. So let's go ahead and uh, level up. So. Um. Ooh, that's good. See, the thing is, man, it's like you start out with the bare basic combos. So I'm kind of wondering, what do I really want? Let's see, shortens cooldowns after item uses. I haven't used really been using items that I really don't need. That hitting enemies stunned by depleted crush gauge. Crush gauge. I'm guessing is gonna be like you know how like in Sekiro or uh. Some other game I'm playing. Oh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, where they have a secret bar on their help. Because you can do stuff. However, it doesn't work against strong foods. HP has been depleted. What? I do not get that, but whatever. Uh, this will increase my weapon damage, which is actually really good. Um, no, I'll go ahead and get that. Uh, and then maybe. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see something. So. I level up right and I get one skill point. Level one, or this thing says one right here. This says two, this says three, and then that says two. So that means that I have to level up three times if I wanna go ahead and get another thing. That makes sense. Speaking of which, do I have another? Wow, 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 wow. All right. There we go. So I got base, so I got my basic starter up. So that's good, I guess. Uh, oh, hello. Maybe I should just save it. Oh. oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah, as I said before, like, the cool thing is that, uh... What you mean? Flight. You know, when you choose your character in the beginning, you know, you're choosing different stories and all this stuff. Bad thing is, though, is that there's New Game Plus, and that... Wait, this isn't game. Oh, I can stop it. Okay, okay, okay. Bad thing is, though, New Game Plus, which obviously New Game Plus isn't ever actually bad, 
but then when you're playing as a, the other character, I guess, on your game plus, and you're at a high level, you're pretty much gonna be one shot and everything in the first few levels. So, yeah, we're gonna be bombing through, <laughs> I guess, the second run playthrough, whatever. This place is incredible. The city is above and below us. I it guess, give me like a I'm in a VR vibes. from a theme park I went to when I was a kid. It used to serve as the connection base to Togetsu. The city infrastructure was destroyed in another attack about five years ago. So, what you see is what remains. Togetsu is the stronghold of the Togetsu faith, right? It's kind of like a cult. Don't say that out loud. Name. Kagura was a believer. He was even a priest at one time. What? That guy is a priest? <laughs> you realize I can hear you, right? Don't forget, our platoon's headsets are all connected. Sorry. No, don't worry about it. My parents were believers, so I just naturally became a priest. I don't care about the teachings at all. Now that Kikuchiba is like this, you hardly ever see people coming to Suo from the church anymore. Daddy. Well, or just what's that drone doing? Damn, they found us even though we were jamming them. Crows, Captain. So they Ooh. sniffed us out. Look alive, everyone. Crows? And that press. Guys, Aww. the crows will make a big deal out of this. Let's make it exciting. Fox News or CNN, whoever. Must be broken. They're pretty, whatever Japan has. Scary. Yeah, it's like they're looming up there. We did it. Wait, hey, I actually want to see if my Mega Man has to. Like, I would understand, like, you know, it's an airborne enemy, so maybe she doesn't have any airborne attack, but I just want to see. Come on. Yep. Oh, you've done two hits. Okay. Oh, yeah. I just gave her the benefit of a Dallas people that if an airborne enemy can't do much, I mean, she would do a lot more if they were not airborne. Yeah. I'll give you the benefit of doubt. I'm not ready to say, oh my god, look at the AI. I am about to say in about three minutes, though, is, oh my god, look at part three! So yeah, we'll go ahead and call it part three here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I said. So yeah, I'll see you then. Woo!